The Chair of the Treasury Select Committee will now chair a narrow inquiry based on the remit that he set out this afternoon in this House. On this side, we respect the right honourable member and we will work with him. But uh, we have some very real concerns about the membership and the, secretary, uh, uh, and the secretariat of that committee, which, he hope, um, which we hope that he will address. However, Mr Deputy Speaker, this afternoon's debates, and in particular the devastating interventions of the Attorney General, exposed serious questions about the scope of this inquiry. It is clear to this point of order in silence. It is clear that there are a wider set of questions, from mis-selling to small businesses, to the wider culture and practice of the banking industry, which are outside the scope of the inquiry set out by the Chair of the Select Committee, and in our view cannot be properly addressed by any parliamentary committee. In our view, the case for a full, open, judge-led public inquiry is stronger at the end of this afternoon, and we will continue to press that case. It is our view that the Prime Minister and the Chancellor have made a very grave error of judgment. And any time as future scandals emerge, people will ask, why are we not having in this country the full independent public inquiry our country needs? To that point of order, Mr Chancellor of the Exchequer. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, further to that point of order, can I uh, welcome the uh, agreement, as I take it, from the opposition in principle to take part in a joint parliamentary inquiry into what has happened. Uh, I suggest that the usual channels now work on the membership of that inquiry, uh, and uh, we discuss uh, across the front bench and, of course, with the Honourable Member for Chichester, any concerns the front bench has about resourcing and secretariat and so on. Uh, I think what everyone now wants to do is get a resolution that all sides can agree on, that we bring before the House before the House rises, and we can get this joint committee up and running, and we can get to the bottom of what went wrong in our banking industry, what went wrong with the LIBOR scandal, and make the changes in legislation to make sure it never happens again. And I would welcome the support of the opposition in doing that. Yeah, yeah.